Hello everybody, welcome to Jimmel Shave. Welcome to the weekend shave, to be precise. Okay, soap news today, it's a new soap. It's not new on the market, this particular one's been over a few weeks now, but it's the uh, Rex Supply Company, 1977, 1977. Got this a little while ago, but when I ordered this, they didn't have the aftershave splash available. So I had to slip boys. So I had to put my name on the, uh, the list and slip boys, of course, Eat and email you as soon as the items restocked. So yesterday my uh, matching aftershave splash arrived. So I'm going to use it today for the first time. Just want to show you this. I don't know if this is uh, anyone else has had this, but you see the uh, base of the soap here, where the oils run through to the, the base. I've looked on the other, I've looked on the 55 and the 66, and uh, it doesn't have that. I just wonder anybody else having that. Is it a problem? I shouldn't think it's a problem, but obviously it's separating, isn't it? The oil is separating from the soap, but never mind. So this is the third in the series, 1955, 1966, 1977. The notes on this, vetiver, patchouli, rose, tobacco, leather, and clove. There's the pot. And it's, it's not what I was expecting at all. It really, really isn't. It's got like a, a smoky, I haven't watched any YouTube videos on this because uh, I didn't want to see anybody else's opinion. So this is purely all mine, what I'm picking up. It's like it being in a smoky room and the smoke sitting in the back of the throat. So obviously the clove is coming to the forward. Vetiver, I can't pick that up at all. Patchouli, I can't pick that up at all, which is very disappointing because that's what I was hoping it was going to be more patchouli based. Tobacco I can pick up, leather I can pick up, and I'll say the clove is coming to the front massively so. Maybe a hint of rose, but the vetiver, particularly, I'm having no luck detecting that, I'm afraid, which is disappointing for me. Uh, and it's definitely not the best scent of the three, I prefer 1955 by a long way. But, better mind. Got it now, so uh, let's shave with it. So I'm going to uh, oil it up in the Shave Nation bowl, kindly sent to me by Mark Davis over in Florida. You can see there's a bit of a colour theme going on here, so everything's similar in colour. Brush is going to be uh, the Yorkie Cavern, the Yorkie Cavern, tuxedo knot, 24mm. Right. The razor, it's going to be, I haven't used this for a while, it's going to be uh, the leaf twig and this is the prism edition, prism. Going on the colours there. So that's what we're using today. Spoiler alert before we start off, I've got a, a pimple just under the skin there. I think you can actually see it. And I opened up a weeper there on the top lip. So, spoiler alert, could be some blood. I'm going to just get some cream out of the soap with my uh, spade. Just got a pack of these, ten of these, made of brass. And uh, shovels and spades. So this is a spade and there's some shovels in the pack as well. Only a few quid. Yeah, so just going to go into the cream first. It's a, it's a cropy, creamy, cropy, cropy cream. It's very soft. I don't want to take a spadeful. Maybe that's too much, but... I'm big one to use this up. <laughs> so, not right. so I'm just going to plop that into the uh, Shave Nation bowl there. Like a lus. Well, I don't know, there's a recent infatuation with people getting spades and diggers to all over their scoop the soaps out of the bowls, the tubs. It's bad because you only get it on your fingers anyway, aren't you? So, <laughs> up until recently, I've always just used my uh, thumbnail. That must be old fashioned now. Okay. Now that it's wetted, the scent is changing. Which I'm pleased about. There's more of a sweetness 
coming out into the floor. Okay, so the smokiness, the smokiness, the uh, cloves, it has died down. And now it has given way to the Vesta. The Vesta is starting to come through, you know, the old things. Just because it's showing that you can go into a bricks and mortar store. And you can be sniffing the soaps, the creams. Get home, lather it. Completely, not what you expected. Yeah, now I'm, I'm really happy about this, the, uh, the change since I've uh, lathered. Yeah, much better. Still not my favourite out of the three though. That still goes to uh, 1955. Taking a cracking amount of water. But I've just put, actually dipped uh, two thirds of the bush for this final, uh, hope. hopefully it's the final hydration. But I'm happy with that. There we go. Nice shiny lava. Yeah, that's a lot nicer. So when I first opened that uh, tub, I was, I was disappointed, but uh, yeah, the rose is coming through now. The rose has actually taken uh, the lead. Isn't that amazing? A total uh, change in the scent profile just from a, a lot of enough. I've never noticed such a contrast between a solid soap and the, the, uh, the scent you get once it's lowered. It's really, really made a big difference. So I'm going to use this prep because I'm actually enjoying that now. But first of all, I've got to uh, wet the whiskers. I've got a massive growth on today. I think it was only about 19 hours since I last shaved. So, not as heavy a growth as you normally see from me. Normally leave it. I know I'm doing a video, I normally like to leave it out two days. <clears throat> nice. Silly really, the amount of soap I've got. Razors, blades. I shouldn't be leaving it, uh, leaving it for two days. I should be shaving twice a day just to get through this stuff. Anyway. Show up to you people think you're a show off. Well, I'm not, honestly. Okay, let's pick up the lava. So I've got to be careful around that uh, weeper around the nose there. On the moustache, on the top lip, the upper lip to be exact. The upper lip, marvellous. What a nice lava the uh, this Rex so produces. It's quality tallow based, of course. I think everyone knows that now. Of these Rex soaps. That's a dense lava on a dense shaver. Even though I put so much water in. Please don't bleed, please don't bleed. Okay. This twig, sometimes use it for head shaves.
This is where I'm shaving around that uh, imperfection under the skin. Otherwise known as a zit. A zit I've also looked. So if that bleeds today, it doesn't count, okay? Because it was already, already there. The audio of this trick Now when I first smelt less soap in the tub I thought this is going to be a one shave and bin but no it's not, I like it now it's growing on me Fifty-five. It's definitely the one for me. Out of the trio. I've had some cuts off the uh, twig. It's not. This is the. Uh, it's not. I, I wouldn't. Say it's mild, mild. It's uh, it's more around the midpoint. I find it a little tricky to control. That's probably down to the fact. Oh, that's slick. That is slick. That's probably down to the fact that I'm used to using uh, heavy D's. This is a very light razor. I uh, got this because Gerard, Mr. G Shaves, he actually sent me his trig on long months. Because I wasn't, I wasn't going to invest in one myself. And he sent it primarily as a head shaver. I liked it, so I said, I'm buy my own. Just dry my hands. So I just got a bristle in my mush then. Can't see how because this is a quality brush. Yorkie, the Archie, sorry, sick. I was just apologising to Sig Solo there over in uh, Greenland. He pronounces it the proper way you see. Yarchi. It's one of those loves I'm enjoying uh, playing. Now with this being a slick, slick slope I'm having uh, Trouble maintaining the uh, a good grip on this handle because it's not the grippiest. Oh, that is really slick. Very slick indeed. Mm. This your max blade seems to be struggling to clear the chin, the uh, top lip there. Very sharp blades and all, so maybe this has been in the razor. Maybe this is on its third shave. Because what I do now, 
I forgot to shave when I clean the razor. I clean the blade also. Leave everything to wear dry. Blade goes back in the razor. And the razor goes into storage. So when I pick up a razor, that is really slick. When I pick up a razor and it's already got a blade in it, I know that it's about to be on its second use. But, uh, and then a bin. Because I've got so many blades. That's uh, I've got to start using them. <laughs> Yeah, you can give stuff away, you can piff stuff, but uh, still left with a load of stuff. That's nice. Now that felt on that area there, I feel like there's no blade in there then, because I've done my usual uh, preferred pass cheat. My body did on it. It's mega slick. Okay, get ready for pass number two. Ready to go. And still plenty of lava left off that uh, spadeful. Oh, I'd like to thank everybody. Oh, I've had uh, last 28 days, I think I've had an increase of 33 subscribers. And I think, according to analytics, according to uh, YouTube, it's 15 more than usual. So, thank you very much indeed. I'm loving this, I'm loving this scent now. I'm so glad I didn't condemn it straight away. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Okay, against the grain chops and chop S's. Our attack video I started off, the 11, Magnificent 11. Chuck, Chuck Shaven Channel. He's completed the tag, so thank you Chuck. Sig Solo, he's completed the tag. Thank you, Sig. Yeah, it's struggling to clear. I think this blade is definitely older than I thought. I'm not going to swap it out now on the final pass. It's very tender around there. You can see the bump now. See it more. Mm -hmm. Now then, will I? Uh, so, as I've got a little injury there, I'm not going to go against the grain on the top lip, that'll be silly. Why take chances? Why bleed when you don't need to bleed? This razor isn't doing a great job at the moment.
You can hear it's still there, chopping away there. Now, spins that didn't go against the grain on that side, I'm going to have to do the same on this side because I wouldn't want an odd moustache when it starts to go back. It'll look like a right barn pot. I don't believe it, I've just gone against the grain. <laughs> Stop lying to the people, Jim, it's not nice. Right, on the old neck now. Sorry, it's just taken a while, isn't it? Stripping it off. Just a little bit there with normal spec. And I've got there eventually. Okay, it's just gonna go down, do the normal rinse. If you've never seen me before, I like to uh, rinse under the tap, so you can hear, and the is the longer it takes me to rinse the residual slickness off, it's telling you how much residual slickness is left on the skin from the soap. I can tell you there was a good amount of residual slickness left there, not sterling amounts, but like you would get on a sterling soap, but a fair old amount. From a quality, quality soap. And that's what it is. It's a quality, quality soap. Paul Sheffield. Oh, look at that little bump there. That's going to look terrible in the morning, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I'm impressed with that. Good shave. Good shave. Good shave. Okay, now for the splash. It's uh, these uh, Rex uh, slashes, 55, 66, 77. All need a good shake because you have to mix. The oil in with the rest of the uh, juice. Can we say juice? That's in the splash. And get it onto the hand as soon as you can after shaking. Get it around the back of the neck. No sting whatsoever. That is amazing for the amount of scrubbing that I did. Hang on, speaking too soon. A little sting coming in now, like a little afterburner. I'm quite worried about that actually because I've never had this sensation before. It's a funny type of burn as well. It's like I've had bleach rubbed into my skin or something. It doesn't feel like a, an aftershave splash uh, burn at all. That's, that is strange. I'm worried about that. So uh, <laughs> I'll have to keep it. I'll have to keep an eye on this this evening. So uh, okay. If everything's okay, I won't mention it again. But ever do I rubbed in blisters and spots and all sorts of nasty things. I'll uh, make an addition to this video just to let you know what's happened. But uh, yeah, if we, don't, if we don't make another addition about this splash, it's all settled down and it's hunky dory. Okay, thanks very much for watching. You haven't done the recap, Jim. You haven't done the recap. So, today was the Rex Supply Company 1977 Tallow Base Soap. That was whipped up with my Yarky Cavern in my Shave Nation Lovering Bowl. The laser for today was the leaf twig and in there I had a half Euro Max blade.
on God knows what use it was on, but it didn't feel good. And that was all finished off with the matching aftershave splash. Okay, guys, thank you very much indeed for watching. Thanks for joining me, and have a cracking weekend. What's left of it? And I'll catch you all further down the line. Bye bye now.